Hey everybody, you guys like Far Cry? Do you like Far Cry? You guys like having lots of maps for your game? You like having lots of maps? You want to have an infinite number of maps for your game? He's a designer working on the map editor, and he's going to build a map for you guys in the next 15 minutes. Okay, in the next 15 minutes, we're going to build a map. He's going to start by transforming the terrain. This is a completely empty map. We're never going to load anything. He's just going to go. Okay, let's have a look at this terrain. This is the moment where we can see it's absolutely blank. He's just going to start by using the bump tool to transform the terrain, build himself just a little hope. And then he's going to use the erosion tool to very quickly make that fleshy mound look like an organic kind of mound. Now he's going to take the texture tool, he's going to assign some parameters to it to only paint the rock above 5 meters and above angles steeper than 40 degrees. One mountain is useless. Let's create a whole world full of mountains and valleys and hills. Using the noise tool, he can create a very organic landscape in like 30 seconds. And again, because that mountain texture is only painting on angles steeper than 20 degrees and higher than 5 meters, he can make a massive organic field of rocks and dirt. Now, rocky fields are boring. Let's create an African savanna. Okay. Instead of placing one tree or one bush at a time, he's going to assign the savanna rules, the savanna collection system to his brush and paint a savanna into the world. Now, the savanna is procedurally generated. It follows the rules. There's a big tree, smaller trees underneath it that feed off of the droppings of the animals that feed in the tree. The grass grows uh, around the tree in particular patterns. It's a noise pattern based on procedural rules of how a savanna actually li lives in reality. Quickly, press the button and go in game. One button, he can drop into the game at any time just to check out if he's happy with what he's done. How many of you have had a chance to play Far Cry in the back? are exactly like this. Same textures, same assets, same lighting. He just built what took us three years in 30 seconds. <laughs> but let's just imagine for a second that he doesn't like it and he decides he wants to make a jungle instead. Now, just like in Microsoft Paint, just select all of the blue pixels and replace them with red. 
He just selected the savanna that he painted and replaced the rules with jungle rules and boo. Seconds, he's completely gotten rid of his savanna and created a massive tropical jungle. Big leafy plants, wet trees, vines hanging from the big trees and the canopy. Alright, being able to create pure wilderness is easy. How do we create gameplay? How do we create areas to have interesting fights? We'll start by putting in a road. It's just a simple spine. You paint the spine through the environment and you'll notice that the spine cuts away the jungle that's in its path. You can just move the spine wherever you want, it will update the jungle in real time. Now we're going to uh, make a clearing in the jungle just by cutting a hole, and then he's going to paint in sort of a, a dirt clearing. Now let's start filling it with some cool stuff. He's gonna, all of the objects in the game are available for you to use in the editor. Vehicles, ammunition, piles, machine gun nests, sandbags, bunkers, Buildings, all of the buildings in the game are available for you to just drop in wherever you want. If you want to put a weird uh, Dogon structure in the middle of a jungle, you can do that. We talked a lot about whether we wanted the player to have unlimited freedom to do weird stuff, make a floating city in the sky. But we have an online ranking and rating and map sharing system on PC, 360, and PS3. If you, uh, if you want to make a map with a bunch of buildings floating in the sky, you're completely free to do that. If you get a one-star rating, that's your fault. The community is going to help us manage this, and we'll be able to see the good maps rise to the top. Even if they're super creative flying cities, if it's fun, it's fun. simulation is running in real time. All the vehicles work, all the guns work, everything works just like it does in the normal game. All of the vegetation is destructible just like it is in the real game. If you have an ammo pile, you can go get some uh, Molotovs and start a fire in the grass, I think. And if you don't like something, you can change it in a matter of seconds. Let's actually, uh, let's build a river. Uh, see how, first of all, see how as he uses the, um, the lower terrain tool, it actually moves the vegetation. The vegetation sticks to the terrain as he modifies it. Also natürlich ist die Vegetation auf dem Terrain, also es hängt jetzt nicht irgendwo Luft her und kommt dann mit dem, mit dem Tool, was er da benutzt, passt sich das automatisch immer der Ebene an. Let's actually clear, clear out the vegetation along the river. He's going to paint the 
river slope. Like I said, again, by constraining the angle that the texture paints on, you can get a very organic edge to his river without having to paint every single pixel. Seven minutes 
ago, this was a savannah at midday. Do you want to go back um, to where the vehicles are parked and uh, machine gun up some stuff? Just going to head back and show you with the storm blowing, the wind blowing. He's going to use one of the mounted weapons to fire into the trees. Where before the broken branches just dropped straight to the ground, now they blow in the direction of the wind. and what we can do in 15 minutes. Now we're going to show you, that's not all, thank you. Now we're going to show what you can do in three or four hours. This is a map that Mathieu built himself in about less than half a day. Three hours, I think. This is a, a, a sort of Central African colonial town. Dirt streets, ruined cars, fuel supplies stacked all around, buildings of all kinds, trees. Another thing that's cool from a community point of view is if you build a map and maybe it only gets three stars, if someone else decides to fix that map and they download it and edit it and resave it, it will be saved with your name as well as his, so they can always know that you were the original creator. And now, if now it's a five-star map, you'll get credit for you'll get some credit for that as well. When you have a map that's overloaded and then they are rated, but it's still not the diamond and the mode called uprising. I think that's self-explanation. There you go. Um, what's important to point out, all these icons that you see, these are icons for multiplayer gameplay assets. You can see the spawn points for each of the two sides in the multiplayer map. You can see tools to make sure you don't accidentally, when you're just about to finish your map, you accidentally embed a spawn point in the ground by mistake and you didn't notice it and then you publish your map. He looks at the map validation screen and tells him you have a spawn point below the terrain. You click on that, it teleports you to the spawn point. You just select it, move it, your problem is fixed. And here we try to do a checklist, so many of us spawn point, so we can see that we can put it in the spawn point, that it's not right, that it's not right, and we can see it, so 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 we can see it. This will prevent you from accidentally publishing a map that you worked on for three days, and you only accidentally put one flag base in it, and you get a one star rating for no reason. If you haven't checked it out already, I hope you can check it out back there, get a feel for the gameplay. And uh, there's also a trailer online that shows a lot more of, of what you can do. That you built the Eiffel Tower, uh, and you can see that in the trailer online. I don't I haven't even 
Ich bin schon ein Trainer, der noch wesentlich mehr Features zeigt zum Edit Job, wie man den alten Job machen kann. Also geht einfach mal online, sucht den Trailer, falls ihr noch mehr Infos braucht. Thank you, vielen Dank. Thank you, danke schön. Aber wir haben jetzt noch ein paar T-Shirts.